Good day, learners! Like animals, plants are also capable of reproduction. They reproduce in many ways. In general, plants exhibit both sexual and asexual reproduction. New plants can be produced through seeds and different parts like stem, leaves, and roots. These are the reasons why you can see plants anywhere, especially in the forest, where they get good physical condition. This lesson is intended for you to describe the plant reproductive system responsible for the process, specifically sexual reproduction. This will lead you to understand how different parts of the plants functions in producing their own kind. Plants have many ways on how to reproduce. Some of their parts are used to produce their own kind. Malungay is a common plant found anywhere in the community. It has a lot of health benefits. Based on different studies, its parts are used for medicinal purposes. Flower is an accessory organ of the plants used in sexual reproduction. Flowers can be classified as complete and incomplete. A flower is said to be complete when it has both male and female reproductive parts. On the other hand, it is incomplete when it has only one reproductive part, either male or female. Most plants are important to agriculture like corn, rice, wheat, and soybeans are flowering, which means they undergo sexual reproduction. Flowers are parts that indicate a plant is producing seeds. When seeds are produced, it means the plant performs sexual reproduction. Different parts of the flower are involved to do such process. Pinancle, also called as the pedicel, is the stalk of the flower that is important to hold the fruit. Receptacle is the thickened stem part attached to the pedancle and it is where the flower or group of flowers grows. Sepals encloses and protects the upper parts of the flower, especially when the flower is still a bud. Sepals are considered modified leaves, which means they have a special function. A flower has always a collection of sepa called calyx. The most observable part of the flower in which people normally appreciate is petal. Petals normally have different colors depending on the type and species of plant. For instance, gumamela plants produce flowers in varying colors. Petals accommodate all insects for pollination. Some flowers have three petals while others have five or more petals. When petals are in group or by set, they are called corolla. To perform sexual reproduction, a flower has stamen and pistil that serve as male and female reproductive organs respectively. Stamen is composed of filament and the anther. The filament is hair-like structure that holds the anther bringing the pollen grains to the position where it can be released effectively. 
the anther has two major lobes with pollen sacs that carries all the pollen. Pollen grains are released by the anther when they are already matured. On the other hand, pistil is the female reproductive part of the flower. It consists of several parts such as style and stigma. The style is an elongated part of the flower that supports and connects the stigma to the ovary. It extends to the height where the stigma can collect and trap pollen grains. The stigma, the one that receives the pollen grains, is a sticky and swollen structure at the tip of the style. The fluid that is secreted by the stigma enabling the pollen grains to mature continuously until they germinate. If both pistil and stamen are present, the flower is considered complete or bisexual like rose and gumamela. On the other hand, a flower with either stamen or pistil is considered as incomplete or unisexual. Plants like papaya and cucumber produce only unisexual flowers. Sexual reproduction among plants happens through the transfer of pollen grains from the anther into the stigma. The anther serves as the male part while the stigma functions as the female part. This process is called pollination. There are two types of pollination, self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination happens when the pollen grains are transferred from the anther of a flower to the stigma of another flower in the same plant. While cross-pollination is a process that requires two individual plants of the same species. Self-pollination and cross-pollination are examples of pollen grain transfer through insects. When pollination is caused by wind and other non-living factors, it is called abiotic pollination. Fertilization occurs when swelling tube-like pollen grains goes into the stigma through the style to reach the ovary. The process is completed at the moment the sperm is released from the tube to fertilize the egg cell in the ovule. Fertilized ovules get matured to develop into seeds. On the other hand, the ovary enlarges and develops to become the fruit. Ripening of fruits signals that the seeds are already prepared to be planted and produce new plants. Sexual reproduction through pollination is possible with the help of pollinators. Pollinators are agents for the transfer of pollen grains from a flower to another flower of either same plant or different plants of the same species. Birds, bats, butterflies, moths, flies, beetles, wasps, small mamas, and most importantly, bees are examples of pollinators. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye.